Today I'm going to show you how to use the sort function within dataset tools. Um, it actually happens that I needed to use this uh, today for uh, an issue that I will show you now. Um, basically the sort function helps you sort uh, different features uh, in different ways. Um, basically, or, sorry, sorts your data set um, by, essentially by size. Um, this is really important uh, in the case of something like StyleGAN where if you, uh, let's say you have a bunch of 1024 by 1024s and maybe you manually crop them. And that means in some cases, like you've got a 1025 by 1024. Um, you wanna be able to sort that out because if you try to upload that to StyleGAN, it's gonna throw an error. Um, so basically the sort method allows you to sort of, it does two things. It can do stuff like that where it looks for exact sizes, or it can also, um, in the case of like, say you scrape something from Instagram, um, you wanna eliminate all of the uh, really small images. Um, like let's say, you know, pre, I guess, maybe 2017, Instagram had like a 680 by 680 upload. Uh, and if you want to use that for StyleGAN, you need 1024 by 1024, so you might want to just get rid of all those images. So I'm going to show you how to do some of this work with, uh, with the Datasets tool library, and we'll jump right in. Okay, so I am already in the Datasets tool library. Um, as always, I recommend just doing a git pull when you get in there for the first time in case I've updated some things. Uh, at this point, I haven't. So let's first, let's go to this first uh, idea, which is just that in some cases, you've got images that are just uh, too small. So for example, here is an Instagram um, handle I've grabbed, and I bet some of these images are kind of small. Actually, let me do a different one. Um, so like a, let's use this one. Um, hashtags tend to always be filled with crap, so uh, it's always helpful to sort of start by sorting those. So the first thing I want to do is um, I'm going to start uh, loading up my command here. So it's Python, it's sort.py. Um, and then if I look at uh, the readme here, you'll see that there are two process types. One is called sort and one is called exclude. So let's start with exclude. Um, so dash dash process type exclude. And let's set our input folder. And we want to just, uh, I'm just going to command C on that and then command V. And let's say output folder. Um, let's say dot slash output slash uh, photo micro graph um, sort. And the next thing I want to do is I want to actually set uh, some values here. So min size, max size. So let's set the min size. So I know that um, the minimum size, let's say I want to use these for style again, so I need 1024 by 1024. Um, so I'm going to set the min size to be 1024. This is going to look across all of the images and make sure that uh, the smallest dimension is no smaller than 1024. Um, and if I go to max size, um, it says the max size here is 2048. I doubt there's anything larger than that in, um, in, in an Instagram poll, but just in case, let's set that a little bit higher. Um, because the truth is I don't want to eliminate things that are too big. Um, I just you know really want uh, I just wanted to look at the small size. So let's just set this really high just for the hell of it. Um, let's see, I don't think there's anything else I need to do here. File extension, input. Or, so I just always do this uh, for my own sanity for these demos because I don't want to blow up my um, my hard drive. Um, I'm just going to set this to JPEG. That way I get smaller images. Um, other things you could set here is you could set a min ratio. Um, so let's say you want square images. I'm probably going to do some, some post-processing to these anyway, so I will do that. And exact, I'm going to show you exact in a minute. Um, okay, so first let's just run this and let's see what happens. Processing my images. So one thing I'll look at is, let's look at how many uh, images I started with. So I started with 6,636 images. Uh, and if we look at these, just a lot of different stuff. Cool. So if I um, go back over to my output folder, which is dataset tools, output, uh, photo micrograph sort, and you'll see it's already set to exclude. Um, this is going to run for a while. So what I'm going to do is when I'm done, I'm going to um, just, I'll stop the video and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, that actually only took another couple minutes or so, but um, just so you can see now, so now that we've finished this, uh, you'll see them down to 2,186. What was I at before? Is it 6,000 something, right? So this eliminated over a third of the images. Um, and actually, if you look at this, um, you'll see that a couple of these 
Let's see if I can find one here. Um, so like some of these images will still need to be deleted because they've added white borders. Um, perhaps they're just like not the types of images I want. Like that's you know obviously again white borders. That's a little blurry. So I'll need to clean this up more. But now it's helped eliminate a lot of uh, sort of that work of having to go through things manually. Um, and if you look here, you'll see every one of these is over 1024 by 1024. So it's pretty helpful. Um, okay, I'm going to delete this just to clear up some hard drive space. Um, okay, so the thing I want to show you now is using this exact function. Um, I actually ran into this issue uh, literally yesterday where I was grabbing images from this. Um, this is a folder of images that are supposed to be 1280 by 768. But uh, when I uploaded it to StyleGAN, I actually got an error. Um, and it looked like a couple of my images were smaller than this, um, which maybe means I haven't a bug in my data sets tool thing, which I'm gonna have to look at. But um, let's just assume that I screwed something up and not not the library. Um, so now I wanna actually double check, like, hey, is this actually right that like um, all of my images or some of my images are the wrong size? Um, something that could happen sometimes is you might upload images and you might actually like have a corruption when it uploads and it'll like clip the size of things and you can get other errors with it. So um, I'm just gonna start by like using the exact same uh, function I had here, which is just Python sort. I'm gonna use the process type of sort instead of exclude. And I'm gonna change my input folder to be this. And in the output folder this time, I still want it to be sort, but I want it to be w. Okay, and now this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use dash dash exact. Now, um, if you haven't used terminal before, some of these arguments need to take an input and sometimes they just can be set on their own. So in this case, I can just set this on my own and that basically says like, do this. Um, it's basically saying exact equals true. Um, in this case, what that says is match to exact specs, and then use the min size for the shorter dimension and max size for the longer dimension. So um, the min size needs to be 768, and the max size needs to be 1280. I'm going to keep this. So basically, what this says is like, hey, look for an exact match of these dimensions and then sort by whether it meets that criteria or not. So when I run this, you're going to see uh, now I have a W sort folder and I've got a folder called no and a folder called yes. And a yes means it matches the criteria and a no means it does not. So, so far I'm not seeing any no's. Oh, I just got one. So what happened here? So, okay, so this is 768 by 1261. Um, okay, so there are a couple in here that are uh, correct um, or like, uh, do do not match the spec I need. So there's a couple of things I could do here. One, I could try to go back and crop these or whatever I need to do. The truth is, like, I have plenty of images already. So what I'll probably do is I'll just like delete this folder. Um, now, when you do it, you could also use the sort of exclude uh, or the process type of exclude. If so, you could change this to exclude here. Um, all that's going to do is instead of giving you a yes and a no folder, it's going to only output the yeses. But this is really helpful for me because I can make sure that there are things that show up in the no folder. So for example, you can see that 648 uh, of all these, so there must have been something wrong with the image like when I actually cropped it. Um, I probably am not doing a check on the initial crops. But anyway, um, that's something I can fix later. But obviously a couple are coming up here. Um, yes is still pretty full. There's already 2,000 images in here. Um, so that's really helpful for me uh, to know. And now I've actually been able to sort out all these. I can uh, re redo my TF records file with just this yes folder, um, and I can just delete these. Um, so you've now seen two examples where sort's really, really helpful. So I definitely recommend uh, using this. Um, you know, you don't have to run sort to double check yourself, but if you do get an error within uh, the style GAN or some other library, um, you can come back and run this just to make sure that you are right. Um, but sort's really helpful. Uh, it's a pretty helpful tool, especially when you're going over thousands upon thousands of images. Um, so that's about it for this uh, sort demo. Um, let me know if you have questions either in my Slack channel or uh, on YouTube. Thanks.